Morning guys, it is 6.30 a.m. And I have an unboxing to do and I decided to do it, uh, do a, a truck unboxing because I got a busy week and um, yeah, this is just a good time for me to do it. Uh, this is something I'm, I'm excited to check out. Uh, this is a handmade knife from um, Bless Knives. Donald Bless over at Bless Knives. Uh, this is special because this knife is made completely by hand by him in his shop. No CNC's were used in the making of this knife. No CNC. That's wild. So he's doing everything by hand. He's cutting out everything. He's grinding everything. Uh, using a drill press for all the various holes and whatnot. It's imp it's very impressive. Um, so, yeah, here it is. Let's see, there's also... What is this? Oh, there's a card. Bless knives. Locally handmade with precision, Omaha, Nebraska. The model is the Ripley. It's Magna Cut at 63 HRC. Um, G10 and titanium. You can just read that. And I'm going to edit in some better video of the knife throughout this video so you can get a better look. Here she is. The Ripley. Titanium lock side. Milled clip. Well, not milled. <laughs> well, I guess you would just say sculpted. Sculpted sculpted by hand uh, clip. Looks like a G10 backspacer, I think. Yeah. All right, let's give her a flip. Ooh, baby, look at that. Oh my God, it's thin behind the edge, jeez. Yeah, that's crazy thin. Really interesting tip. At first, when I first saw it, I thought it was broken off, but it's actually not. It's like a little mini sheep's foot down at the end of the sheep's foot. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I mean, it's going to serve the same exact purpose of a regular sheep's foot. It's just you have a little bit less of a fragile tip there. Definitely choke up area. That choil is big enough for choking up. Absolutely. Let's see what this is about. Okay, let's try the thumb studs. Nice. Thumb studs feel nice. The the flipper, I think the detent's a little weak for this flipper. You, I mean, it's I mean I can fail it, uh, but give it any kind of effort, it, it flips nicely. The thumb studs feel snappy. Reverse flick. Oops. Yeah. This is cool, man. This is a this is definitely a unique design, which is refreshing to me. Uh, you know. It's not just another titanium frame lock, you know? It's got character, which I really appreciate. And this is all done by hand. It is amazing to me. So I was, uh, we had him on a live stream recently, and I was really curious how he did this lock bar cutout. And, you know, that's a, that's a precision cut, you know? And um, he has some kind of jig where... He has like a really thin cutoff wheel in a drill press, I think he said. And then he, he, so it's spinning in the drill press like this and he just runs this up against it to do the cut. Um, insane. Absolutely insane, man. That he's able to do that. I'm not sure how he gets this effect on the G10. That's pretty cool. Is it like, maybe he tapes it off and then sands it and then takes the tape off, I'm guessing maybe. 
Also, it looks like there, I think he left the heat treat kind of scale from the heat treat on the flats, which looks awesome. I really like that look because it's darker. It almost looks like uh, it's an acid wash on the, on the flats, but I think it's just from the heat treat. Well, maybe not. It actually looks tumbled, so maybe it is a, an acid wash. Yeah, I think it is actually. The jipping, obviously done by hand. Spacing is perfection. Nice and grippy. The ergos are nice. You know, it gets it gets thin back here, but your hand's not really on that unless you have huge hands. It's smooth, man. I mean, this is on washers. This is very smooth for washers. Very smooth. Yeah, the flipper tab is kind of like, I don't know, it's high enough that it, you have a lot of leverage. It almost feels like you're like uh, slingshotting it out. Yeah, this is sweet, man. This is really sweet. Interesting little swedge right there. Very interesting blade shape. Sharpening choil, obviously. A ton of room in there for sharpening. <laughs> Yeah, this is unbelievably impressive, man. Unbelievably impressive. I don't know how long it takes him to make one of these. I'm guessing, I mean, a long time, months probably, right? I'm sure I'll probably comment under this video and let you guys know how long it takes him to make one of these. He's a really cool guy. He's been hanging out in some of the live stream chats that we, that we do. Um, just a, you know, likable, genuine guy. Perfectly centered. Yeah. Big hardware. Right on. There it is. The Blessed Knives Ripley. I'm not sure what the process of getting one of these is. I think you... I don't know if he does drops or if you order one and then he just makes you one. I'm not sure. But uh, I'll put his website down below. And so you can go take a look. There you go. Please like the video before you head out. I'll see you next time.